three to four years ago, I was in Honolulu, Hawaii, and that's where I met Larry Hope, a John Danaher lineage black belt. Now, Larry is a lawyer. Larry is a father. Larry is Larry has children. Larry does not compete, but Larry still seems to stay competitive with almost everyone who trains three to four times long, longer, as well as three to four times more than him per week. Now, as you notice, Larry has a very anti-scramble based game. If you notice what just happened, basically, I stepped in without understanding what the hell he was doing. He started to play possum. As I'm trying to figure out what he's doing, he starts to attack my knees and feet, push them in between his knees and feet, right? Split my legs. Now from here, forces me, attacks my knees and feet again, forces me into a truck position, and ultimately finishes me. <coughs> now if you guys notice, Larry plays similar to I do, to the way I do, or I play similar to the way he does. Now let's go back. He forces me in. I step in again without understanding what he's doing. That's what most people will do who rely on athletic-based scrambles, and that's what I used to do. I relied on athleticism and scrambles. From here, he pins my knees and feet with his butt. Right? So now I can't move. But I still don't know what he's doing at this point in my jujitsu career. Everything's pinned. Everything's pinned, right? From here, he makes me play technical jujitsu with him, but I have no idea what that actually means at this point. Now, from here, as you notice, Larry and I have similar, we have similar ways of playing, right? And I, my bottom game, right, is based off his bottom game. With differences here and there, I do things very differently because he's much bigger than me, right? And much taller than me. But as you can see, he's using my head as a fulcrum, right? And from here, he lifts himself up into a top position. And I scramble because I have nothing. I have no idea what else to do. As you notice, as I'm scrambling, he's always attacking my knees and feet. Watch what he just does there. Look at, look at Larry's left and right leg. He's always focusing on attacking my knees and feet right here boom right here even from here right he's always trying to pin to a certain extent as i'm moving he's always focusing on knees and feet he's not scrambling he's anti-scrambling with me as i choose to scramble watch again and watch as i'm so focused right that's why i dropped my ass i know what he's doing with his legs as i defend the legs he attacks my upper body and ultimately finishes me Whenever somebody works hard to defend your leg entanglements, your foot binds, your foot stomps, your knee pins, anything that involves feet and knees, they expose their upper body to attacks. Now from here, watch, I step in again. No idea of what actually to do. IT gives me an underhook. He's playing possum. He gives me everything I could ever think I would need to defeat him. Now from here, I still don't know what he's doing. I don't even realize, right? I'm not even defending feet and knees, but his legs are, but right, he just caught it right there with his left leg. I'm sorry the the you can't really see in this section, but from here, right? He's, I'm always attacking. He's always attacking feet and knees, feet and knees. And that's what a half guard or a quarter guard, look, he squeezes his thighs, right? He's pinning me. He's slowing me down. He's making sure that even though I'm faster than him, he slows me down. Now from here, he takes top position. Now, this is a little magic right here. As he makes me carry his weight, he goes into a reverse truck type of thing. Right? He switches the leg footing. He has some sort of leg entanglement into, let's watch it again. He goes for a rolling back take into a reverse truck. He switches his leg positioning and attacks my secondary leg here. From here, he rolls back up and he can enter into insights in Kaku, but he chooses not to. I see what he's doing, but the minute I start to come up, I'm already a moment late. He attacks a toe hold on me. As I try to pull him in to prevent the toe holds, he backs me up into this 411 type of position and ultimately finishes me with another leg lock. But as you notice, as Larry rolls, it's very technical, it's very smooth, and it's very simple grappling, right? Most people are not playing 
anti-scramble styles of grappling, which makes it much harder to understand how to break them down. But as you notice, Larry's playing off his side. Larry has his chin tucked. Larry's using his feet like hands, right? And Larry's controlling at end of levers, right? The wrist, the head. He takes inside positioning. Larry t- enters into another leg entanglement. He's, he's locking me up. He gets an underhook, right? He takes top position. He squeezes his knees as I defend the lower. Watch, watch it again. As I start defending lower body, he attacks upper body and ultimately finishes me with an upper body submission, a kimura. And watch the foot bind. Boom, he locks up the feet so I can't move. And ultimately, once again, finishes me completely. Now let's see what he does to the last roll. Once again, what do I do? I step in without understanding anything. He destabilizes me. He takes my foot, attacks a toehold, and ultimately snaps my ankle and finishes me. Concepts and anti-scramble, everyone.